Guys, you know, a couple days ago, or a couple videos ago, a guy on one of my walking videos tried his hardest to make me feel bad. I mean, he pulled out everything that could possibly be wrong with me, that there possibly could be. Um, if you want to go look at the comment, it's still there. Um, unless when my moderator deleted it. Uh, it should still be there. Um, it's on the video about dating, or online dating. And uh, he listed, you know, certain things, such as like, oh, I'm overweight, I'm a neckbeard, um, you know, I shouldn't be where I should be in life, you know, and like, normally that would make me feel bad. But not this time. When I looked at it this time, I thought, man, what is that guy doing in his life that he feels the need to break somebody else down? Because every time in my life that I felt the need to break something down is because I was missing something in myself. And, you know, I really want to question that guy. And, like, I know you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be, like, give him attention and things like that. But, like, what is hurting inside of his heart so much that he feels the need to break down somebody else that he will never probably meet. And, uh, yeah, you know, you see it all the time. A lot of PewDiePie gets it all the time. People out there, PewDiePie's fake, PewDiePie does this. And I, I'm, I'm guilty myself. I've said it myself in my own depressed stupors that PewDiePie does not deserve where he's at. Well, who determines who deserves what? I mean, there's things in my life I felt like I don't deserve. I don't deserve the fan base that I have. I don't. I, I'm, I'm nothing special. I, uh, to put it bluntly, I am a balding. I got, I'm balding. I got gray hair. Um, I'm average height. Average build. Well, not average build. I'm obese. But, you know, if I was, if I was a regular weight, I'd be average build. And I'd be middle of the road. I would be that guy that sits there that's balding, drinking cups of coffee. That's who I would be. But I'm not. My life didn't turn out that way. My life turned out completely different. And if I was born on the other side of the world, the life I have right now is considered luxury and king size. Whereas around here, it's not considered luxury and king size. But who determines what it is? I mean, like, I watched a documentary the other day, and it, and it kind of spouted something into my mind, that there's companies in this world that go and buy up land or subsidize land or buy rights legally to put wells on properties and to sell water back to the people because the city itself has mismanaged the money and the water infrastructure of that city or that community has gone down, downhill a lot. The quality of the water has gone downhill and it's getting people sick. So you have companies like Nestle and Coca-Cola that come in put new wells down and then they charge people more than gasoline per liter for water like some of the countries in like Pakistan and India pay more for water than they do for gasoline and uh, yeah and it's perfectly legal what but if you come over here and steal some steal like a lawn gnome out of somebody's yard it's Ill illegal to me which one's the greater theft I mean but that, that that's a whole different story whole different story but I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this I, I'm gonna continue on my walk now you can fry an egg on the sidewalk today man it is hot 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 and like I don't have very much to talk about because all I can think about is how hot it is like I am sweating in places I forgot I could possibly sweat oh man I want to give a couple shout outs today in this video though um, a couple guys I've been following, a couple people I've been following, and uh, trying to get at least one of them back on track. Colton Lewis, dude, stick with it, dude. Couch to 5K, you can do it. I've watched all 10 of your videos, and uh, I figured if you struggle through mine, I'll struggle through yours. Because I... Because it's all about support, brother. You're doing a good job, and you're helping better your life. I don't know the other dude's name. His name is of Mormon. You made it three days, pimp. Don't let the passion die in your heart. You keep getting out there. You keep doing it. Make tomorrow the fourth day. 
another thing is uh, another co a couple people that's been a major impact in my life, helping me get back in wake. A girl named Evanly from Austin, Texas. You know, all your all your Facebook posts really inspire me to keep going, especially when I see you doing it. Same thing to Lisa Graves. Um, every time I see you push harder and post photos of it, it makes me want to push harder. But it's hot today, and I'm sorry I didn't have a whole lot to talk about. Thank you guys for watching my video. It's always been your boy Wings of Redemption, a.k.a. Jordy Jordan.